I'm Jay. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in to another video. And if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to be attempting layers um, and giving a product review of the Aura's Fix It line for wigs. So let's hop into the video. Okay, so today I'm super excited because I have some new products to apply my wig with. So I have the ORS um, Fix It products. I have the gel and the spritz gel. So this is what I'm gonna be using to reinstall one of my wigs. Um, I've been wanting to use a different adhesive for a minute now and I finally got my hands on those products. So I'm very excited for today's install. Today I'm gonna be reinstalling my blonde wig and i'm going to be putting some layers in this hopefully i don't mess it up and do something else with the baby hairs i did go in and like try to pluck the hairline a bit but i might need to pluck it some more i think it's kind of thick still but i'm going to save it for another day after this install to see what it looks like on my head i don't have cornrows in obviously i can't cornrow my hair with these nails on so whenever I can't cornrow my hair, I'll just um, twist the back of it and I'll do two flat twists on the side and I'll pull the top back to try to get it as flat as I can. And today I'm going to be using my satin wig cap because that wig is super big and there's a lot of space in it. So I don't think it'll matter that I have a slightly more bulky wig cap on underneath. Also, I don't plan on keeping this on, this wig on for too long. I'll probably take it off tonight, honestly. So... Cause I don't really, I've never slept in that wig and it's in, it's a synthetic wig and you shouldn't sleep in synthetic wig, wig, wigs. <laughs> you shouldn't sleep in synthetic wigs. So right now I'm just about to put the um wig on to see where I want it to lay. Okay, so there's a slight change of plans. I am gonna have to do the bald cap method because you can see my wig cap through here and um, you can see my hair through here. So I'm gonna do the bald cap method and then come back when I'm ready to install the wig. Just make sure the cap, the wig is covering like all of my bald cap. And I laid my bald cap down with Gots to Be glue. I had a thought to use the ORS to try to lay my bald cap down, but I don't really know the hold of this product. So I didn't want to use that and then it like not work out. Directions, remove any buildup using alcohol wipes. I'm not going to use alcohol just because it really dries out my skin. So I'm just going to use some toner that I have to clean up my hairline. Next, using clean fingers, apply thin layer gel in front of the hairline. Okay, so I am, let me see if it's like, okay, yeah. Ooh, it smells good. I can smell it and I haven't even taken off the cover yet. It's very, um... It's not very thin, but it's thinner than like the Got to Be gel, I think. Allow one to two minute drying time or until gel becomes tacky. I'm gonna apply two layers, I think. So it says for a more secure hold, allow the first layer of gel to dry for two to three minutes. Apply a second layer and allow it to fully dry. So this is my first layer. It's been about two to three minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the second layer. And this time I'm gonna get it a bit more in front of my wig cap or my bald cap. I am a little surprised that my wig cap is still so bright. I, I assume that this gel would um blend it a bit. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and let this dry. Spray short bursts of spray on top of the tacky gel layer. Allow 60 to 90 seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it got in my eye. Okay, so the way this comes out, it's kind of hard to spray it in like a short burst. I'm struggling. So I'm gonna spray some on my finger and then put it on the thing because I'm struggling. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm dropping it everywhere. This is making me mad. <laughs> Why is it like this? I do not like this. It's all over my freaking face. Mm. 
yeah this is making me mad so i'm gonna just apply this to my fingers and then apply it to my lace because i'm not having this drip all over me no i'm not And it's still dripping every freaking way, but um, I feel like the spray nozzle for this just just don't make sense. Like, or maybe I'm using it wrong, but it's just it's not. Mm. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I did not like that, so I'm gonna start laying my wig down. Based off of how I just laid it down, there is a lot of lace that still needs to be laid. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, that spray for that. It does feel very secure in the spots that are glued down though. Like I was afraid it was going to lift, but it feels very secure. So love that. I'm actually pretty surprised at how secure it feels. That um, fix it spritz liquid fix spritz gel that was making me mad like i don't know what i expected i guess i don't know what i expected but it was just the spray the nozzle for that the spray nozzle for that isn't the greatest um but this is really secure all right so i secured the rest of my lace and now i want to start um I want to, has this been in here the whole time? My wig here. I'm just gonna move it out the way. All right, I want to start like styling the wig and stuff because I need to go eat. We're gonna see if it's down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my layers in it and style it and all that good stuff. There's a whole lot of, whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot of, lot of going on. Okay. All right, so it's down. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these baby hairs, but I think I need to customize the wig a bit because like right here, it's like maybe like a half inch or so of just like lace and baby hair. All right, let's get into layering this wig. And um, yeah, let's get into layering it. I do want to layer and curl it. Um, I never curled this wig before, so I don't know how well it holds a curl, but I guess we got to find out tonight. And, um, yeah. I mean, worst comes to worst, if the, me cutting these baby hairs looks bad, I could just cut the lace back here, cut this like half inch of extra lace off, thin the hairline out a bit more and make my own baby hairs, if it looks bad. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but like underneath the lace where I did put the, um, spritz it, the liquid face, it is a bit shiny. But I really love the hold and everything. All right, layers. So I have one of those um, thinning combs. I got one from the beauty supply store a while ago. And I'm about to use it now to try to put some layers in this wig. So here's the comb. And um, I'm going to use this curved side. And so to do these layers, I'm just going to comb down it in like a diagonal motion I'm gonna have to vacuum after this <laughs> but I'm gonna start low because I don't want to um mess it up and I'm just gonna like do it lightly
All right, I'm gonna stop there on this side. I can't really tell how well it's layered, um, but I think I need to put a few curls in it to see. So I'm just gonna go ahead to this side and comb it outwards this way. All right, let me throw some curls in this to see what we're working with. Okay, clearly I'm struggling trying to do these layers or a layer look. I should have like looked up how to do the dang hairstyle. But I'm gonna just go on to the other side and see how it turns out. All right guys, so here's the finished look. Honestly, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, I couldn't get my layers to look uh, equal. Like I couldn't get both sides to look like each other. Um, I couldn't really curl this right side of my head. I was struggling to like even get it to curl so it doesn't look like the left side of my head. Um, and also like the baby hair situation, I don't like that either. Overall, I'm not really happy with the look. I think I just need to maybe curl the wig off like while it's on the wig head to get some nice curls in it. Maybe I need a, curl, a curler. All I have is my flat iron, but I have curled my human hair before, but this is a synthetic wig, so um, yeah, I was just re really struggling to get this side of my hair to curl. I think I did okay on the layers, I just don't think I can really see them because of how poorly it's curled. Like, I even tried like kind of flipping it a bit and putting it this way, but it just, it just wasn't working, so I did struggle with like getting the layers to show, like that I have, that I even have like layers in my head. So overall, my thoughts on these products, I really like them. It has a really great hold. It smells really good as well. The directions were easy to follow. The only thing I would say is that this is the spray, the nozzle for this. It's not the best. So I would suggest like putting it on your finger or like putting it on a popsicle stick and then applying it to your hair because I was really struggling with this and I didn't really like it at first. The gel is a bit runnier than like got to be, but I still like it. I think the products dried quickly and it really wasn't difficult at all. Um, I really like this look at Fix. It, it does its job and I really like this wood grip gel. They're both really great products, so if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. It smells good. Like I love how good it smells. I think it it is definitely an ultra hold gel like i'm actually very surprised at how secure my wig feels right now um i really like these two products these are the products that i will be using from now on and i didn't use these products to do my bald cap method but next time i do my bald cap method i will be trying to do that with these two products so yeah i definitely give these products five out of five stars it, it's for the wigs it's secure the wigs it does that it would just be great if this had a different type of application um but yeah that's my review on these 
I do like it better than got to be. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.